Hi, one awesome week. I'm Cedric, and I'm gonna be your Carl today. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's a link to my personal channel in the sidebar. I'm not even gonna... Hold on. What? Let me clear one thing up. I, I, I flip my hair a lot. Like, I'm constantly playing with it. So, don't be alarmed. I'm not having a seizure. But anyway, back to my point. Um, I'm not going to attempt to point to which side the sidebar is at, because I, I don't know. I'm not going to try. Andrea's challenge was to eat an entire roll of Fruit by the Foot. And I don't have Fruit by the Foot, just like almost everyone else didn't have Fruit by the Foot. Um, so instead, I'm going to eat this flower. Okay. And I figure since they look so pretty, that maybe they might taste good. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Okay? Okay? Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Ugh. That was about, like, the dis most disgusting thing I've ever done. Oh. Oh god. I need fresca. That was really disgusting. I suggest that no one else ever does that. Ever. Ever. Um, next question. Roxy asks, um, what's something you want to really badly but you're not allowed to can't do? Um, that's a tough one because I'm not really, I'm not really restricted very much. Um, what I'd really like to do is is drop out of high school, move to Paris, and live life as a superhero vigilante in Paris. Um, yeah, that's that's what I really want to do, but I could never do, because I have other shit. Oh, oh my god. Can we curse on this channel? I don't know. But because I have other stuff to do. Um... 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 Alessandra at our blood says, to describe a recent dream you've had or a dream you remember, don't dare you say you don't dream. I know you have. I'm all-knowing. Okay, last night... I'm going to tell you the story leading up to the dream, but last night, uh, me and my mom went to see Watchmen. Um, we went at, like, 9.50, so we didn't get out of the theater till like, 1 o'clock in the morning. But, you know, Watchmen's with, like, superheroes and stuff. But anyway, so I go to home and I go to bed, and it's like 1.30, almost 2 o'clock, and I like look at the ceiling, and like all of a sudden, the shadows start like forming into hands, and they're like coming to grab me, but they're not really. But basically, I'm pretty sure I was dreaming, but I'm not really sure, and I think it had something to do with Watchmen, because it looked like, like, because it reminded me of one of the characters... His name is Rorschach, and it doesn't really matter if you haven't seen it. But, um, yeah. So, that's that's my dream. And I can't really remember anything else that night, and I can't really remember any of my other dreams. I don't know, I'm really bad at remembering dreams. I mean, I can usually remember them, like, the day after, but after that, it's it's gone. Q says, or uh, wants to know, where is the strangest place I've ever been locked in? Um... I've never been locked in anywhere, to be honest. Oh, you know what? There was the one, there's one, there's one time that I've ever been locked in somewhere, and that's when I was really little. My sister and her friend liked to torture me when they were babysitting me, and they would lock me in the closet and say that they were going away forever and ever and ever and I never would come back. And that made me cry and cry and cry and cry. And I was emotionally scarred forever. Um, but besides that, I don't think I've ever been locked in anywhere. Ever. Ever. In fact, I don't really go to strange places. I've always fantasized about getting locked into the mall at night, or like, or like being in like a horror movie and being locked in like, the mall with a serial killer and just a few of my closest friends that are all blonde and have boob jobs. You know, regular stuff. Um, that was sarcasm. Not not the part about being locked up with a serial killer. I think that'd actually be pretty cool. Especially because I have, like, some killer moves, you know? Right. 
And lastly, John Anthony would no, wants to know, would I rather read the phone book or the dictionary? That one, that one's easy. I'd much rather read the dictionary than the phone book any day, um, because the dictionary would probably help with my SATs, since, although I actually did really well in the reading section, so I don't really need it that much, but it'd still be a great way to expand my vocabulary. Um, for those of you who don't watch my personal channel, you don't know that I'm super, super academic. So, so that was an easy one for me. Um, I don't really know how the guest etiquette goes on this channel, so I think I'm just going to make up a question anyway. Okay, sorry, my camera died, and I had to plug it in and wait like a million hours, and now my tripod's all messed up, so now I am filming this diagonally. So, okay, the only thing I had left was to ask um, my question, and I decided that my question would be, um, I don't, I hope you didn't do this, but, um, if you were a superhero, what would your name be, and if you had powers, what kind of powers would you have? And, yeah, and if you have done that, then, um, if you were soda, what soda would you be? And for those of you who live in the Midwest, pop. What pop would you be? So... That is my question. Oh, and I'm really, really PO'd right now because, not only because my tripod fails, but also because I went into my kitchen because I was making dinner, and I totally found a Twizzler. And a Twizzler is way closer to fruit by the foot than a flower is. So, mmm, that's good. Awkward. Alright, so, thanks for letting me guest star, or sub, or whatever you want to call it. Bye-bye.